uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we'll go, we'll, we are going to talk about linked list okay before that if you just wanted to talk about a cube uh, nq and dq operation with some diagram then let's say this is the cube and q will have a two pointers front and rear to track the elements which element has been dequeued which element has been enqueued so if let's say you are adding d element to this okay so rear will start pointing to d and now front is still at a now when you dequeue from this like removing the element from the front if you dequeue a then the front will point to b and rear is still pointing to d then again you dq the element v then the front will point to c and rear will point to d right so you can nq dq until unless you have the elements okay so this is how the queue works now if you talk about a simple linked list right so linked list is a different data structure uh, if we talk in terms of the behavior in terms of design a stack is simple, uh, LIFO, uh, queue is simple, FIFO, first in, first out. Okay. A linked list is a sequence of data structures which are connected together via link. So here, the, the connect, connection came into the picture with the help of reference. So it can be a, some a sequence of a different data structures which are connected to one another through some link, which can be a memory reference, okay, which can be a pointer. So link list is a sequence of links which contains the items. So every node of a of this data structure sequence will have a data and will have a link to the next node. In the link list also there is a doubly linked list, singly linked list, circular and all the other link list types are also there which we used to study in the college. But here for the interviews you should have a basic understanding and basic understanding and how to write linked list in JavaScript or Java and how you can traverse it, how you can insert, update, delete the node from the linked list. Okay, so a particular node will have a link. Each link, each link of a linked list can store a data called an element. Okay, so there will be every node of uh, this data structure will have a data and the link which is called next and it is connecting itself to the next node. Okay. Uh, link list contains the connection links or uh, from the first link called first. Okay, let's see this in the diagram. What is this? So you can say there are four blocks. I mean four different nodes which has their own data like hi, how are you? These are the content in the different different nodes and they are linked to one another. If your last element, this is the end of this sequence, then it will point to null means there is nothing beyond it. And there is a start node means we are starting with hi hi is linked to how, how is linked, linked to r, r is linked to u with some link. Link is just a pointer or memory reference, something like this. So head is currently at 204 and then uh, link is stored in memory, how it is stored. So these are just a memory reference. 217 is a second node reference, 232, 242 and they are linked, they are attached to this memory reference. So first node of the link list has a memory reference of a second node. Second node of this has a reference of the third node. You see 217. 217 is a memory reference of second node. 232 which is a memory reference of third node. 242 which is a memory reference of fourth node. And fourth node is not having memory reference of anything. So that is null means there is nothing beyond it. And head is pointing to 204. So there are few things head, tail, a link next these are some terminologies of a link list okay so every data you can consider this is a data structure which we are calling as a node a single data structure so it is a sequence of multiple data structures and simple data structure is, is as simple as having some simple data and reference okay so this is called as a node individual is called as a node and there is a link link to the next node with the memory reference okay so it's a singly linked list so similarly there is a double link list where you can traverse from left to right right to left okay we will talk about simple use cases with the help with the help of link list so uh, if now what we will do is we will talk about uh, link list and queue in terms of javascript first because you can understand these data structures from any programming language you, you just need to understand how it works how you traverse how you insert update delete uh, elements 
from the data structure like stack, queue or linked list. Okay. Okay. Thanks everyone.